today I'm going to be doing a review video for Mad Vapes uh, e-liquid. Uh, I bought seven different kinds of e-liquid. I didn't see no videos on Mad Vapes on YouTube, so I figured I would do one. This is my video. Uh, to show you what I got, I got five or seven five milliliter bottles. Like this one is Spearmint. If you can see that. A second, I'm still getting used to this camera here. Spare bit, 18 milligrams. A little green I put on there, I put on there. I'm going to mark my cartridges that I'm using. I actually, if you want to see them all, it's all the different bottles that I got. Right here. I use the KO80, KR808. Some people call it the Ace. I've heard other people call it the I think Vapor King. It actually uses the Carter Miser, which is a two two piece system. Just Carter Miser and the battery. You screw it together. And that's the reason I put the colors on there. Uh, I'm about to remark this one. The colors just about come off. But you can see the little bit of purple that's on there. I put on there, and that's for the purple I put on find it here well it's actually come off, but it's mad grapes purple, for some reason the purple's not sticking like all the other paints did and I did the same thing for other ones and I'll show you as we go But so this is mad grapes from um, it's called madvapes.com that's where I ordered it from Pretty reasonable on their price. Um, let me show you the vapor it makes off of my machine here. I mean, tastes good. Tastes more like a grape candy to me, though. Almost tastes like a great, the great fun dip powder. As you can see, it's a lot of vapor. Tastes good. If you're looking for something good, great taste in the smoke, this is good. It's actually really good. Um, this one is spearmint that I have. Now this one I found it's really intense. Really, you can see the green on this one for some reason. You can see it better. Yeah, I showed you earlier. This one, I mean, wow, the flavor was really strong on the throat. I actually had to cut it down some with some VG. I cut it down like 4%. Took it from an 18 milligram to a 14 milligram. That's a lot better. I'll show you how that one makes. It's not as much vapor on this one for some reason. And the flavor is still, still strong. like spearmint. I'd recommend you get the high strength milligram and cut it in half. Or the taste is really strong to me. But I like it. It tastes good. This is peaches and cream. I'll show you how this one vapes. Got it marked there in my little bottle. than the tobacco flavor I've found so far. It's pretty strong. This one is watermelon. Watermelon. Yummy, yummy. Watermelon. 18 milligrams. It's good. This 
one I like a lot. Lots of acre. Just a great taste. Really good. Not, but not really much of a throat head. But it will. I mean, it's nice. Not like the peaches and creams to eat them. Flavor is so bad, it's got strong throat hips. It's not from the smoke, it's from the flavor. It's good. Watermelon is really good. I'd get that one. Really, really good. Tastes like watermelon, too, by the way. If I didn't say that. This one is. Strawberry shortcake. Now this one too. When I first got this one, the flavor was so strong. Well, I just I didn't really like it. But when I cut it down, I actually cut this one down to twelve percent, and it's really good now. I really like it a lot at 12%. It cuts some of the flavor out. It'd be nice if I could, you know, I should have ordered in a higher milligram and cut it, left it at an 18 like a regular cigarette. But still, it's really nice now. And I gotta say, it's pretty close to a strawberry shortcake. It tastes pretty close to it. some more orders coming in. 
in for Mad Vapes and what not to come. Uh, I got some flavorless nicotine. Or, not for Mad Vapes. I got some uh, PG coming in and some dripper bottles, so and some other stuff, I believe. So I'll check back in with you. It's my video on Mad Vapes e-liquid. Hope you liked it.